I want to know any hopes for a medal for us. So many of us had our hopes on blessing, you know. So what's happening in that regard? Well, as it is right now, uh, she won't be able to successfully defend her title by winning a silver medal, which she did in 2020. But um, there's still a chance for her to get a bronze medal. Okay. You're welcome. Let's start by telling you that Blessing of Burududu will compete in the bronze medal match after she lost to the women's 68 kilogram semi final, three points to one against Mirim Zumanazarova of Kyrgyzstan. The 35 year old silver medal. How can she come up? Can she gain the advantage? Can she get round the back? The leg is locked in, the left leg from Orbudu. She is knowing that this is her last moment, but seeing off, watching the clock is Mirim. Zumara Zarova and she has contested this one right down to the wire and herself celebrates the Olympic bronze medalist from Tokyo is going to go one better the Kyrgyzstan dream remains alive in this Olympic Games Zumara Zarova as she has beaten Nigeria's blessing Oburuduru Of course, um, there's still a bronze there to grab. But there are still more hopes for Team Nigeria as favour of Philly is through to the final of the women's 200 metres event, becoming the first woman to achieve the feat since Mary Onyali 28 years ago at the 1996 Atlanta Games. She finished second with a seat. Fort American Florence Griffith Joyner holds the world record of 21.32 seconds, which she set at the 1988 Seoul Olympics. Away from the Olympic Games, former Super Eagles forward and assistant coach Emmanuel Amunike has been appointed head coach of Heartland FC of Oweri. Imo State's governor, Hope Uzadinma, unveiled the 2015 FIFA Under-17 World Cup winning coach, whose last job was at Egypt's Meselel Makassar. In 2021, Hartland FC, who were relegated last season from the Nigeria Premier Football League, are back, having bought over the rights of Beyond Limits FC, who gained top, top flight promotion from the Nigerian National League. 